Hey everyone, I'm Ben Gramico from InterNACHI and this is a free live online InterNACHI webinar. And you can register and attend any webinar or watch any video recording of a webinar because we record every one of them at nachi.org slash webinars. And that's N-A-C-H-I dot O-R-G slash, and that's that thing by the question mark on your keyboard, webinars, nachi.org slash webinars. Um, today we have a special guest EcoSense, my buddy Mark Rosenfeld from EcoSense. We're going to talk about increasing gross revenue for home inspectors uh, in relation to radon, radon devices, radon software, radon services, customer service, and things like that. So thanks, Mark. Um, we did a webinar a little while ago, and it was so successful, I had to invite you back. So thanks again for coming back to Internet to Webinars. Well, as I said, Ben, we, we appreciate it, and it's it's been uh... It's been really, uh, really nice to have the, the feedback because you guys uh, have really got a, a lot of great, great um, inspectors and great folks, and it's been a real great experience. So we appreciate you having us back. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, for those attendees who are attending the webinar right now, feel free to ask Mark any question about radon, radon services, and money, and all that good stuff, and how to market the service and how to increase revenue. Uh, use the Q&A feature on your screen, use the chat feature, we'll be looking at it and attending to the questions maybe as we go or at the end. Um, Mark, what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about, funny you should ask, Ben, right? <laughs> we are going to talk about the EcoSense difference. You know, what I'm going to cover today um, is just a, just a short EcoSense history. Um, then we're going to talk about the core of it. It's going to be our Radon Eye Pro, the features and benefits, and really, as you say, how uh, inspectors can you know can earn money and increase their revenue with the Pro. Then we're going to do a, a little comparison of the Pro with the Sun Radon, um, Garentium, and the Rattlelink professional models. And I'm not going to get into the weeds with it, but just to kind of go through some of the differences and some of the comparisons that make the Pro um, a, a, a good choice. Cool. for inspectors. Then we're gonna talk a little bit about creating a new revenue stream with EcoSense's long-term continuous monitors. We have a couple of those and a little bit about business development opportunities. And then we're gonna uh, wrap it up with uh, why EcoSense and Q&A. So awesome. if there's any questions during, if you wanna jump in and ask me, that's fine. Otherwise we can do it. We can do it towards the end. That sounds good. Sounds real good. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll get started. Just talk a little bit about EcoSense. Uh, we were founded in July of 2019. And we are a technology company headquartered in Silicon Valley. And we really like to stress that because we've got a, um, you know, a whole staff of, of software engineers and we're, who are really, really in, kind of embedded into the uh, Silicon Valley culture. And um, that's really the, our focus. We're solely dedicated to radon uh, detection and monitoring. We've got US patented ion chamber technology in our units, state-of-the-art software development, as I mentioned. And some of our key values are the highest sensitivity. And we're gonna talk a lot more about that as we go through um, you know, any radon monitor out there, very reliable and accurate results and feature rich, rich software applications, if I can say it, <laughs> smartphone app and web dashboards for our products. So that's a, just a little bit about um, EcoSense. And as we said, we're going to talk about building your radon business with EcoSense. For inspectors, we're going to start with the Radon Eye Pro. That's kind of where, kind of where we, uh, you know, everything revolves around. So I'm going to give you a little quick, quick overview here. Then we're going to go into, you know, some some level of detail, and then we're going to compare it with some of the other uh, products out on the market. First thing to mention: NRPP, NRSB certified. Um, as I mentioned in, in our last um, webinar in December, not every state it requires this, but a good deal of them do. And um, we, we are, you know, any, any state that requires it, we want to make sure everybody knows NRPP, NRSB certified. Again, onboard ultra sensitive, 30 counts per hour of Pico Curie's uh, per liter instrumentation. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, so we have maximum connectivity and remote monitoring capabilities. We'll talk a lot more about that. Easy report capability. And since we spoke in, in uh, December, we've actually made some significant um, changes and improvements to the report 
capability. And when people call me, then typically one of the first things they ask beside price is about the report. Because obviously yeah. you go out, <clears throat> you do an inspection, you want to have an easy, quick way to get that report to people. And that's, I'd say probably 90% of the time, that's the first question is, let me see the report. So I'm yeah. going to go through that in some detail today. And it's affordable. And we're going to go, and we're going to show you in depth how affordable it is. And for international members, it's even more affordable because hey. we do offer special pricing. So Good. thank and you. And that has worked out really well. So right on my pro, again, NRSB, NRPP, it does come with a, you, you get a full set with a really nice carrying bag. It's a small, very easy. I got one right here. If it's not yeah. disappearing behind me into the Bay Bridge. That's all right. <laughs> That's the problem with the backgrounds. It just, everything goes away. So anyway, it's small, easy, easy to cart around. You have a tripod holder, a power adapter, a step up cable for a battery and an extension cable. Doesn't come with a battery, but we do have options for that. Um, I'm gonna go through this a little bit. Basically to run an inspection, I mean, everything you need is basically on the software app for both iOS and Android. And you can create an account, add new devices via Bluetooth, set up your inspection, and you can start, you can set up the wait time. Most states, 48 hours is, is the typical standard for tests. Some people, some states, it's a little less. And sometimes people will do a 72 hour. You can preset that, set up a waiting time if you want. Um, Wi-Fi settings, and then I'm gonna click on this, and this mm -hmm. is kind of runs you through real quickly, you know, how, how this works, but it's very simple, very easy to use. So you can set up your inspection, again, the times, you can enable it with Wi-Fi, um, set it up with your, set it up with Wi-Fi. Now, a lot of times in a, in a person's home, you're not gonna have the Wi-Fi and you don't need it to run the unit. That's when I make that clear. Um, everything works off of Bluetooth. The unit itself, the device itself actually stores the data. So once you've done the test, the data is on that unit. And then you can use the, um, you know, with Bluetooth, you can download it onto your smartphone and generate the report. It will also upload the data. If you have a, a cell connection, it uploads the data to our cloud service. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about the, um, the dashboard and some of the, some of the value of that. Okay, so again, you can review, review the results, share the report, so you can save or generate the report with the inspection data. Click on that. You can add new clients, add company logo, comments, notes, and that we've significantly expanded that. So I'll show you that a little bit. Add site pictures, floor plans, really in detail. And you can do this from the site or a lot of our inspectors do it like in the truck outside just to make sure they get it done right away. Or you can send it back because it automatically uploads the data where you know, some of the bigger companies with uh, somebody at home or somebody in the office, you can actually upload it. And then you go to the next inspection and they can then do the report from the dashboard. So that's a feature that uh, people really like. Oh, nice. Yeah. I saw notes, I saw logo. That was really cool. Yeah, it's all in there. And so here's, here's the report. As I mentioned, we showed this a little bit um, back in December, but we've made some significant improvements based on feedback from our inspectors. And that's one thing that um, our inspectors really like is we have made all kinds of changes based on feedback we get. Inspectors are out in the field. They you know, they know what's happening. Software engineers are brilliant guys who can, who can design these products, but they're not out doing the inspection. So over the course of 2020, we have made multiple changes to the, you know, to the software, to the dashboard, all from feedback from our inspectors. So it's, I mean, this is something that we really got um, a lot of positive, a lot of kudos for, because um, we're talking about competitive, you know, a lot of the other companies are doing it their way and that's fine. And a lot of it works great, but they're not getting the feedback loop. It's, it's not a two-way street. Hmm. So we, we've done a lot. The inspection to the first page, You've got your logo. Once the logo is uploaded onto the report, every time you open it up, it automatically will populate the report. 
So that's nice. Tells you the you know your your um, serial number, who the test was performed for, who it was you know was done by, where it is, how long the test went, and what the dates are, and a little map a GPS of where it was. And now the second page here, we've added. Uh, used to be a very small little spot with a hundred characters for measurement environment. We've actually expanded that to a thousand characters, so you can really get into detail or you know, see it says right there, uh, you know, basement closed, or you can add a picture or, you know, or an image file so you can show exactly where you were. A lot of inspectors like to do that. Um, not just that it looks nice on the report, but they take a picture so that if anybody moves it, and I know every inspector out there is shaking their head, people yeah. will move it and say, oh, I didn't touch it. Well, if, if you have a picture of it on the report, there it is. So that's a feature we just added. And again, a thousand characters. So you have plenty of room to put what you need in there. And then you've got the details of the test with a graph and you know it'll show you the overall reading, also shows you the EPA protocol average. Hmm. And uh, the EPA basically requires the first four hours, the first four measures to be eliminated from the test. So we've got both of them on there and um, some states require EPA, some states don't, some inspectors like it, some just want the one, but we have found from talking to probably 150 at least inspectors that you know there's a need for both so we've got both of them on there tells you the calibration date and then this next page the comment page this we've made a tremendous amount of changes to um originally it was 100 characters again not a whole lot of room on 100 characters if you start typing so what we've done here is we've expanded this to a thousand characters oh. and again you can upload you see there's a i took this off a report from one of my um one of our um, inspectors. So they, they'll put a rate on health risk information and talking about what, you know, what does it mean? What does 4.0 mean? The average homeowner has no clue what a Pico Curie is or what, it, what the whole thing means. This way you can just do a image shot and then you can just upload it. Once it's uploaded, every time you open it up, it will populate the report. And of course you can change it. Some people have different, um, different uh, images, depending on if, if it's over 4.0, under, you know, if it's over, it might say, hey, mitigate, and this is why. Yeah. So that is something that we worked on for a long time, and, and our inspectors love it. Just came out mm, about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Nice. So it's, it's been a really, really nice upgrade. And this next page, there's only one comment page, but I wanted to show a different way to do it. A lot of people like to put a picture of the home. You can put a little bit of uh, you know, verbiage, verbiage up there and uh, a picture of the home or a floor plan. Huh. So it's, it, there's not two comment pages, just to be clear. I just wanted to show the difference. And then the last page, and just, to, just also want to point out, if you don't use these, you don't have a blank page. It eliminates, that page is eliminated from the report. That was something that was uh, a must. And uh, we, we had to wait a couple of extra weeks to get that worked out on the software side because you don't want blank pages in there. Sure. So if they don't use the measurement part or the um, comment part, it's eliminated because some people don't do it. Yeah, so it just so you know, not, you're not adding it blank pages. And then the final page is an hour by hour um, reading of the, ra of the radon measurements. And we've also added temperature and relative humidity to this to the report, again, based on um, requests from our inspectors. This information was and continues to be in our raw data. So you can actually pull the raw data out as a text file. And, and, and that gives you the one hour timestamps, the, the, you know, the EPA protocol, all the information, but it's in there in a, in a definitely not as, as sexy of a way. And, um, but we, we did pull out the temperature and humidity to add that to the, to the report. And that's been really well, well received. So that, that's the report. And again, that's probably 70% then of what people ask us about is, yeah. what does that report look like? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So now we're going good. quickly through the web dashboard. This allows you to easily manage multiple inspectors and multiple devices. And as I said before, once the, the data is, is, is downloaded after the test, it, as long as you have a cell connection, it automatically uploads to the cloud, which is radonipro.com. There's no extra um, service charges or um, cloud charges for that. And um, that data is now on there. So you can, if you are um, connected to Wi-Fi, 
you can actually monitor the um, the inspection remotely. Hmm. Can't turn it on or off. It doesn't do any of the functions, but you can see what's going on with that as it's happening. Hmm. If you're connected to Wi-Fi, if you're not, what this will do is just download. You know, it'll upload the data, and then you have the inspection data. You can generate the report right here. As I say, if you if you um, are out in the field, upload it, and then somebody at home or or you know an admin or or, or anybody in the office can do the report while you're going on to the next, you know, the next inspection. Nice. So you generate the report. You can also transfer authority from one inspector to the other. Hmm. And that was a big change we made last summer because if uh, Ben is dropping it off and Nick is picking it up, right. and, you know, we have to make sure that that's, that's a clean a clean change. And, and so you can transfer the authority from this. Also, I guess say manage your inspectors and your multiple devices. And this is this dashboard we're working on constantly to upgrade and make it easier, easier to use. And the more feedback we've gotten, we've got a lot of inspectors with, with multiple units and multiple inspectors out there who've given us a ton of input <laughs> as, to, <laughs> as to how to um, you know, make this dashboard work better. And we're always working on it. We've got some changes coming this year as well, but for right now you can add your clients, delete the information. So it's a very, very um, easy way for you to, you know, to manage your your, your business. That's a great uh, that's a great comment that you have. It's it's great insight of your company listening to your inspectors who can provide valuable feedback, and it helps them and it helps you provide a, a better service. It's uh, it's really what Internet she does too. Just you know to tell you, like we we're not very smart over here. We just listen to our members and they ask us for things and we try to provide it to them. So it's well, nice to hear. Absolutely. And that's that's really, really what has made us stand out. And we have great a great product. But, you know, a great product is one thing. But if you don't give people good customer service, if yeah. you don't listen to what they want, you know, I, I don't think we would have. Uh, I'm going to mention a little bit later on our growth between 2019 and 2020 just on the pro was incredible. And that's because we did. If we hadn't listened to our, our clients, I, I don't think we would have gotten nearly as far because there was a lot of features that the original product didn't have that were necessary. Yeah. But here's the important part. We'll do a little drum roll. The uh, Radon iPro is, um, it, it, we have special pricing for Internashi um, using the promo code Internashi20. Guess we'll have to update that for 21, but um, it's a uh, list price is $7.95 and Internashi members get a uh, 715, 50, 10% discount. Right. And we'll talk about some of our other products that counts for all of our all of our products we have um, listed. Wow. You get that promotion. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Well, we, we appreciate it. So now what I'm going to do now is go through, you know, we, we said we're going to do a little bit of a, a, a kind of a competitive landscape. You know, this is an overwhelming looking chart and I'm not going to go through line by line by line, but I just wanted to kind of point out, you know, the main competitors that we have, obviously the Sun, Corinthian, the Air Things, and also we run into a Rattlelink product a, a lot because of their um, rental program. So mm -hmm. just want to go through just a, you know just a few things. 1028 XP is one of the newer um, products from from Sun. Got a lot of questions about it in terms of accuracy. Um, you know we, we come out ahead. And really, where we really excel, as I mentioned before, is in the radon counting sensitivity. Hours at 30 uh, counts per hour per picocurie per liter. We're 11 times more sensitive in terms of uh, in terms of sensitivity with this unit. There's at 2.7. So higher sensitivity is more reliable um, in, in, um, inspections is, is really what it comes down to. Um, as far as alarms, you know, this is not a huge thing, but they don't have one. Here's a real a real important issue: warranty. Hours is of one year on all of our products. The Sun XP 90 days, so your investment is protected significantly longer. Um, I, I mentioned the price 715.50 for international members. The uh, XP is 995 list, but they also they have an LTE module, which is which is an extra cost. They also have an environmental module, which is an extra cost. And with the LTE, there is a monthly monthly uh, fee from I think it's AT and T or one of the phone companies. So we have basically better performance, better value, no extra charges on that one. Going to the 1030, which is the top of the line sun radon, 
This one significantly improves on sensitivity, but we're still, as you can see, two times, you know, two X sensitivity performance it, it, there. Um, in terms of data storage, you know, we're storing a year worth of data. They've got 1,650 data points, which is uh, data points are usually one hour. So it stores data for longer periods. But again, what we're looking at here is the warranty. We're a year, there are 90 days. That's a huge thing when you're talking about protecting your investment. And then in terms of price, it's an 1195 list price. So significantly better value on the pro, 2X performance on sensitivity. Really nice. Now we're gonna talk about the Rattlelink AirCat rental. And the reason I brought this up is that a lot of inspectors, especially the smaller the most startups or, or guys who don't have a whole big staff like this idea. And it's kind of like, if you've ever bought furniture at you know one of errands or, or a court furniture kind of place, they, they, you know they you're getting it, you're paying more in the end, but you know you, you're paying less up front, and that's really kind of where the the air cat is. It's a very good quality, very high. You see the sensitivity is really good. It's um, you know there's no no display which a lot of our inspectors like the uh, OLED display, so you can see actually the reading. So it's easy to understand and an informative display, but it's a very good quality machine. But here's some of the here's some of the negatives. Doesn't support iPhone. Hmm. Now I don't know about you, Ben. I, I mean I have an Android, but I would say at least half, probably more, of our our inspectors are using iPhone iOS, yeah. right? Yeah, I agree. So I agree. No support for for the um, you know for, for iPhone. Um, it's no Wi-Fi. It's a Bluetooth but really the iPhone support is something. And um, price-wise, here's where it really gets into. Um, quantity one through four, $165 a month. Hmm. Multiply that by 12 and, and you're looking at almost $2,000 a year and you don't own the unit. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, and I understand 165 a month, it's easier than putting out 800, 1,000, 2,000. But if you really look at it from, a, from an investment point of view, you're paying almost two thousand dollars, and if you're uh, you know if you're using five of them a month, now you're paying thousands of dollars a year, and you don't own anything at the end. There's an activation fee as well to get it started. So, good quality units don't support um, an iPhone, and uh, two and a half times plus, you know, a more expensive annually. And with ours, you actually own the unit after you finish. So I think that one is you know is a good comparison again for the pro. Last but not least, the Corinthian Pro. In terms of uh, sensitivity, you can see we're eight times higher. Um, no display, no alarm. Again, no iPhone support. Yeah. Yeah. And um, price wise, they're listing at $12.99. So significantly better value on the Pro, 8X performance. And hours are available right now. There's been, I think, some issues with um, delivery. On the on the Corinthian Pros since the fall, and hmm. it's you know so where you can get them right away. They're lower cost and the higher performance. Oh, you're beating so that, everybody on accuracy, sensitivity, the device to be used, and the overall price. Right. Yeah. So hmm. I, you know, which is why which is why we're doing well. When, when we come up with uh, why radon pro, again, best radon detection sensitivity. And that's been independently validated. I'm, I'll talk a little bit about that um, when we talk about our consumer monitors. And our PP, NRSB listed, feature rich, wireless connectivity, easy report generation, strong technical support and customer service. We're a fast growing company. We actually grew over 500% from 2019 to 2020. Hmm. So that's, uh, and that comes with a lot of running around and a lot of late nights and a lot of hard work. But um, we're actually, uh, you know, and we're affordable. So <laughs> it's a good combination, which is why we've been, you know, so, so successful then. So wanted to add to this world-class customer service. And this is something, as we were talking about before, not just are we listening to our clients in terms of features and benefits, but we're getting, you know, a couple of things. We're getting the product out there very fast. No long wait to get your device. If you place your order on our website, typically by 2 p.m. Pacific time, hmm. and a lot of our um, a, a lot of our vendors are in the Midwest and East Coast, 
for that pretty much the whole day there. It'll usually slip ship out that day, almost always. But if I say always, you know, <laughs> I'll get a call. No, 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 it didn't ship out. But almost always Monday through Friday, that's going to ship out the same day. There's a tremendous amount of value in that. Standard shipping in the US is free, so ground shipping. And I can't tell you how many times I've had a call, hey, can you get this out today? And these are not our regular customers, but they're looking for another brand and they just need something for a, um, an inspection the next day and we can overnight it or get it to them quickly. So no waiting for the device, fast, responsive customer service, seven days a week. As much as I hate to admit that, yeah. you know, we, we, <laughs> <you're> not, <laughs> we know that um, your inspectors, inspectors are out there working Saturdays and Sunday. So sure. You're not on your own. If you're doing that Saturday afternoon inspection and you need help right away, you're going to get it. Huh. Last week, my girlfriend and I were taking were hiking. It was a beautiful day here in the Bay Area. And I got a call from somebody in Michigan who was having an issue. And I took it. And, you know, they were really, they couldn't believe that anybody actually answered. <laughs> uh, and uh, we helped them get through it. And so, you know, I've had Sunday calls, Saturday. You know, I'm not telling you to call me on Saturday. But they're there, and we have a full staff of engineers and uh, and tech support folks to help. So you don't have to wait for your device. Fast and responsive, and we offer product training for you and your staff. We hmm. make it easy for new inspectors and all you grizzled vets who know it all. How to you know, we, we teach you how to use the the unit because if you're using something else, you know honestly, it, it, it's a little different. Yep. You have to get to, you know learn how to use it. Sometimes people get frustrated. Hey, this is not the way my X, Y, Z, you know, unit works. So we go through it. We have how-to guys. We do vi virtual training sessions are available to get you up and running and efficiently, you know, earning money with your pro. Yeah, that's you know, it's hard to jump ship, but if you make it easy for us, yeah, I can see. Yeah. No, and I know that. And believe me, I've had many conversations with people. It's very hard to change, especially if you've been using something for years. And even if there's, and there's always something that you want better or different, but we have managed over the last year to convert a lot of people who are using some of the competitors we've talked about because of our, you know, great customer service, the quick weights and the, the training. So mm -hmm. it's really worked, but you know, we got a long way to go. So that's why we keep doing this, uh, a, a lot more people to convert. And next step we want to talk about, we won't go into too much detail on this, but you know, help you know, build your rate on business with our consumer monitors to create a new revenue stream. You know, um, after the inspection is complete, what do you do then? Most inspectors just leave and move on. But we actually have a lot of inspectors we work with who are now offering a long-term continuous monitor, especially if the test came out, let's say 2.7 and above or in the threes. So you don't, require mitigation, but it's something to look at. People don't think twice about having a smoke detector or a carbon monoxide detector in the house. And I mean, this is probably long-term more dangerous or as dangerous, let's say. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is a, an education process that we're really working on to get people to understand that long-term, you know, long-term is really where it's at. In a two-day sort of a snapshot test, all you're getting is those moments, that, those 48 hours. It's long-term. I think you need at least, I think it's like 90, 90 days of continuous testing in, in order to really get a feel. And so we have programs, and I mentioned it last time, our referral program, and I'll talk about it a little bit here again, um, to, you know, so that you can sell these without having to stock them or invest in them. But these use the same you know, the same patented technology, the same chamber, same 30 CPH per Pico Curie per liter. So they're excellent units and um, they're very sellable, you know, and, and it's a great way to increase your revenue stream. I'm going to talk a little bit more about our EcoCube. This was just released when we spoke last time. I had mentioned we were about to release it. I think we did it December 17th, the um, webinar, and I think it was like the 20th, 21st. So a few days later, we released it. Mm -hmm. Actually, in that time, we um, have won an award from the uh, 2021 Consumer Electronics Show, the big CES show. As we won an innovation award in the health and wellness category, nice. for this, you know, for the EcoCube. Nice. So that was really exciting. I mean, it, would, it had been out one month, yeah. and you know, it's a small, very high quality, uh, built-in Wi-Fi connectivity. 
and it's really starting to take off. And, and it you know, fits right in with your, I put a nice little picture on this. You can see you put it on your shelf. It's tiny. If you can see that, I've got one right here. There you go, yep. <laughs> it's in the palm, fits in the palm of your hand. And uh, very, very easy, very compact design. And again, it's a uh, innovation award winner. So it's a really nice unit for you to sell post inspection. And this has been independently validated by third parties, the University of Michigan, Kansas State, um, I think up in Canada, the University in Calgary, and then we've had um, a couple of other universities that have done tests you know, with, with the radon eye and uh, performed identically to some of the industry's you know, research grade. So you have a $9,000 know, Alpha Guard or RAD, you know, RAD7, a pylon. And in terms of the performance, this is you know, pretty much identical for under $200. Hmm. So just like to talk about that because we're not just saying it's good, it's been validated by third party. Hmm. Referral club, so business development opportunities. I talked a lot about that last time we spoke. The uh, referral club, basically you sign up for it, you um, get a unique discount code, and then you can uh, give out, we have all kinds of handouts that you can give out um, you know, to your clients. They get a discount, 5% discount on any of our products. And as a referrer, you get a 10% commission. And basically no inventory, no investment. So it, all you have to do after a, an inspection is you know, say to the client, hey, how about long-term? You, know, you really should, 90 days is really where it's at. You should, especially you're in a state, Ben, which is at an extremely high um, right. you know, average rate on in Colorado. We have yep. a lot of our inspectors in Colorado who are utilizing this program. We've got a, you know, we've got a few hundred referrers now and it's really taken off. All you have to do just basically is just ask the question and yep. if they want it. So you don't have to stock any inventory, no investment, and you get a monthly, a monthly commission. And it's an extra way to, you know, to earn revenue with Ecosense. It's a great way for me to keep in contact with my clients too. That's another thing. Exactly. You know, now you want referrals, you know, instead of calling up and saying, hey, you got a referral for me, Bob. Yeah. Now, you know, you're selling it now that they're, they're a client and you keep in contact with them. It's yeah. a really good program. And, and we're really, really um, excited about pushing this. We've also are going to be working on some partner digital marketing programs where we're going to help drive traffic to your website and social media. More traffic, of course, equals more business. And uh, later this year, we're actually working on programs to connect inspectors with potential new clients. And we'll talk about that. Maybe you'll invite us back in the, in, in the spring or summer and we can sure. talk about that or the fall. Heck so, yeah. Hint, hint. Okay. So anyway, the um, referral club and digital marketing, another way to earn with the Ecosense. So in summary, I think we've covered a lot. Hope we didn't cover it too fast, but I wanted to get into, into details. Um, why Ecosense? Well, Industry leading radon detection sensitivity. Sensitivity, I mean, we, we keep, we've said this 10 times because it's really important that, you know, that the, um, you know, these are very sensitive. So you're going to get very high quality inspections, independently, you know, validated, top rated consumer monitors for long term continuous monitoring, strong customer service and tech support. So we're fast, detailed, and focused responses solely dedicated to radon detection and monitoring. We're not you know, looking at every single thing in the house. We're really focused on, on radon. And I think that um, this has really served us well. And we're a Silicon Valley technology-driven company. You can't stress that enough. You know, we're fast moving, dynamic, customer focused, and we're working 90 hours a week to prove it. So mm -hmm. that's what it feels like. So you know, we're really trying to change the way that radon monitors are, are designed and sold. So that's why you know, we'd like you to go with, with our, our Pro, our Radon Eye, and our award-winning Ecosense. So that then pretty much wraps it up. Uh, you know, yeah. If you have if there's questions, yep. have you we, got any uh, questions or anything? Yeah, we have one question about the code. Can you go back to where that code was written um, so that people can see the code? And then there's a question about how long does the promo code, how long is it good for? Well, right now it's open. So we are, um, you know, we've done so well and you guys have been so helpful to us that 
um, there's no end date, no end date for that right now. So international members will get the get the um, the the, you know, the discount. Yep. Um, Tyler asked, does being part uh, if you if you want to take a look at the questions too, uh, Mark. But Tyler asks, um, is does being part of this referral program break part of Internachi's ethics by receiving commissions as stated in the code of ethics? That's a fantastic question. Um, why don't you email me and I can loop you around with legal. Um, I don't think there is, but um, why don't you just email me and I can have a, a formal answer for you as well. Um, that's always uh, um, in the minds of our home inspectors when we're doing things and we're making money on some other kind of revenue stream. Um, mm -hmm. Is it against any standards or a code of ethics? So good question. All right. Well, please let me know. Um, Matthew asks, is there any need for calibration? Annual calibration, yes, is, um, is, is required and it's done by Bowser Morner in Ohio. Yep. Um, do I need any certification for testing radon? Depends on what state you're in. Yeah. Every state, some states require and if you do need, you know, if, if, when those states require it, we do have QA, QC documents that you could use. We are listed in, in most states. Um, as I said before, a lot of states re require it. Um, NRPP, NRSB, we have, you know, you come to me, I, I have all, of, all the, um, the proof of the listings and, you know, and I've done that with many, many inspectors. But if you need a QC and a QA program, we have it. And some states, like your state, Ben, is as high as the radon levels are, very lightly regulated compared with others. So yeah. It's all, all depends where you are. Um, let's see. Uh, you can also, I'm going to, I'm going to put in the chat. Um, you have an education team at Internachi. You can ask them about that, uh, about your state uh, in relation to radon. Uh, we have just about every, every uh, piece of information you need um, about uh, radon and regulations. And I looked up Maryland because it seems like that was the question about Maryland. And right now, the information that we have is there are no state regulations for testing in, in Maryland, but the mm -hmm. state recommends to the public um, the environmental protection guidelines for testing. And mm -hmm. they also refer to NRPP and NRSP, uh, which this device, uh, the PRO, uh, complies with. And we have a radon test that is approved by those organizations, including AARST. So um, right. if you want to be certified through Internachi and uh, your state doesn't regulate it, you're, you may find out that your consumers um, will look for a certification from something. If it's not from the state, if you're in an unregulated state. Um, so I recommend getting Internachi certified and that certification program is free and online for Internachi members. Uh, let's see. Tyler, this machine gathers 30 counts per hour. The report shows hourly numbers. Can you get a report with the 30 counts? How is the one hour number generated between the 30 counts? The, the one hour number is, is the average of the, is the average, every 10 minutes it does an update. So it's the average of that hour is what we're doing, is each hour's data point. Hmm. And you know what, if you give me Tyler's um, in, information, or Tyler can email me and I'll give yeah. you my email address. I can go over that in more detail. Awesome. You know, directly. Uh, Dave asks, what states are radon I not allowed? Not, we have <laughs> no, no states where it's not allowed. We're working on um, <laughs> finalizing some of the, you know, in a couple of the states where you know, we're uh, in the final stages of, of um, you know, meeting the requirements. Some of the requirements are, you know, are, have been tough, but we've actually, um, we we're actually should be, um, should be good to go th this spring in every state. But the device itself has gone through something with NRPP or something? Yes, NRPP yeah. and NRSP yeah. certified in both cases, yeah. So certain states have different, in every state has a little bit of a different, um, a little bit of a different way that they, they go about it. So we're working on, that's part of my job has been to work on each individual state and make sure we're up to snuff. Yeah. Uh, Justin asked a question, I'm not sure. Can we offer a preliminary one or two hour test to use to suggest and sell to customers uh, a full paid test? Like, can, can they do a quick demo, I guess, of a one or two hour yeah, test? Yes, you know, I'll, yes, and um, you know, it's, it's, not up to, it's not up to regulation in a lot of states, but I do have 
we do have a lot of inspectors who, who, who do this. They, they'll actually put it in, you know, when they do their um, inspection, no charge, and then they leave it on there. And then if it's a high level, that's where the fast response, I mean, we'll get a first response in about 10 minutes and a first usable response in an hour. So if they do a two hour, minimum a two hour um, test, you can get a, you can print a report. Hmm. So, nice. but you do have the readout on, on the, you know, the, OA, the LED readout. So yeah. within 10 minutes, they can get a basic reading in an yeah. hour. So most inspections are what, three or four hours, three yeah. hours. Hmm. Yeah. So right. by that time, so the answer is yes, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to be an official test for most states, but you can do it and you can get, you can get a good answer. And I have a lot of inspectors who do that and then sell and you know, say, hey, look, right. you, you're looking really high after a couple of hours. Let's do a full 48 like hour that. test. I like that. I like that. Jonathan asks about the warranty. Uh, after the warranty period, will EcoSense still service the monitors? Yes. Um, and what's the average setup time for the pro? Umar From asks. scratch, I would say about 10 minutes or so. 10 minutes to get, it, to get it set up, started. It's quick. It's all Bluetooth and it seemed really very, quick, easy. Very, very simple. Ten, I'm going to say 10 minutes max. Yeah. Uh, what's the expected life expectancy of a unit a sensor? No, it, you know, it's a, they're, they're, they're relatively new products. I would say we're looking at it probably five or six, five to seven years, yeah. what we're looking at. Well, Mark, you did it again. You did a great webinar. Thank you so Thank much you so for much. telling us about EcoSense. Um, and uh, if I was still doing radon tests, I think I'd sign up. This sounds like a fantastic time to do radon yeah. tests and so easy and high tech and the report looks beautiful. And what I really, really like is EcoSense listens to the inspectors and does something about that feedback. So I really appreciate it. Okay, well, we appreciate you having us. Let me just do this. Add yeah. um, my, my email address. I should have probably yes. put it in there. It's yeah. Mark, M-A-R-C dot R, as in Robert, at ecosense.io. Uh, let's see, ecosense.io. So mark, M-A-R-C dot R at ecosense.io. Okay. Do you have I any questions? It. I think okay. that was it. Yeah. You got it. Ben, thank you very much. Thank you everybody for coming. And uh, we look forward to working with you. Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Thanks everybody. Okay. Stay safe Take and healthy, care. everyone. See okay. you later. Okay. Thanks. Bye.